Hello everybody, Soybean Farmer here. October the 18th down here in North Carolina on the little farm. Beans are starting to turn. Uh, you know, seeing the leaves go yellow and then kind of dead looking, but don't have a lot of things dropping and falling off yet. Today's the first day I've had off from cigar shop in eight days. We had a scheduling situation and the boss said, I need you to work. I needed the money, so I worked. I had a list of things I want to try to get done today. Finish cleaning up that uh, weeping willow tree that went down and swap some batteries around. I'm going to take the battery out of the combine and put it in a Ford F-150 and run it a couple of days in there and see if I can get it charged up. And if you look up there, you see what uh, two, and we'll call them tropical storms as they came by here, uh, Florence and uh, Michael. And that's what's left of my uh, wind direction indicator. Not much to it now. I need to get a new one. Well, let me get started. Everybody, thanks for watching my videos and uh, subscribing to my channel. We'll see what happens here. Let's see if we can climb up there and get that battery out of that combine without falling and busting something. Eight days ago, might have been nine, I came out here to try to crank this and see if it would crank, and it wouldn't. So I pulled forward over here a little closer and jumped it and got it cranked. I let it run about 20 minutes and it recranked itself. Um, so I'm hoping, really hoping, if you look right there, you should be able to see 9 slash 12. So battery was 2012. So I'm really hoping this will crank. Let's find out. another day or so probably wouldn't have cranked but let it sit here and run a little bit it's a cold natured motor but it is a good running motor uh, that's a built motor let's see I can't remember what year I think it was uh, 2008 the original motor in this truck was a 303 cubic inch and it, the block cracked on it it was wore out and I had a local machine shop who builds motors build this motor. And this is a 352 cubic inch, uh, short stroke, big bore. This motor builds torque. You can pull uh, this truck about 24,000 pounds, go to the mill, no problem. That old motor was struggling. Well, I'm gonna let this sit here and run, but I'm gonna get this choked down a little bit. Yeah, that's old antique manual choke right there I'm messing with. If I go too far too quick, the motor will die. It's, like I said, very cold natured. But I don't like it to sit here fully choked because it's uh, making it run way too rich. That might do. Yeah, when I got this truck, I was all excited about fixing it up. I pulled this dash out of here to see how much of this stuff I could get working. And I put that tack in here, this electronic tack. It fires off the distributor. The oil pressure gauge works, but the ammeter gauge was shot. So I cut a hole in here and put this ammeter gauge here. Fuel gauge works, and the temp gauge works. The speedometer, when I pulled a gear out of the transmission where it just screws in, it was all chewed up. So I went and found that gear, put it on the end of the cable, stuck it in there, and it still didn't work. So the assumption is the gear inside of the transmission is all chewed up. And this transmission's got problems. It's, I uh, can't remember the model number, but it's a new process, four speed. And in third gear, there's something in it that's in bad shape. I mean, it just screams and makes horrible noise. But uh, 
take it up to 3,000 RPM in second and get a little bit of third and go to fourth and it quietens down. Yeah, that's about right. Let's take this a little bit more. But anyhow, I painted this thing. Of course, the paint didn't stick and it's been chipping off, but oh well. It's a farm truck. There, I'll let that sit there and run like that. into this thing but uh when i was trying to charge this battery with the battery charger the battery charger started acting stupid and i want to go get the wrench i think it's half inch positive cable's already off of it and get the ground cable off of it and see if i can get it out of here and i'm gonna put this battery in the f-150 over there we'll be back in a minute folks all right what we're looking at is the battery out of the combine uh 2012 but I may have just stumbled on to what was causing the battery charger to act funny these uh, terminals are a little nasty now that's a post cleaner and what you do is you put it on there like that and this thing's got to be in the way get out of the way there we'll turn it like that there's wire <coughs> teeth on the thing that'll polish up the post then turn it in the other direction that cleans that up right there see this is the one the positive looks pretty messy so let's see what we can get that to look like take it and go the other way I always thought about hooking this thing up to the drill and a power tool out of it never did it and that's a lot cleaner and this tool is for this side where'd I throw that there it is all right that one's pretty new right there but we'll clean it anyhow just goes through there like that. You need clean connections for good electrical transfer. Clean and tight. If it ain't tight, it ain't right. That's what my daddy said. He was an electrician. 